welcome back to our youtube channel again so in this tutorial video learn how to troubleshoot and fix the common issue of the hyperx cloud stinger microphone not working so follow step by step uh, instruction to resolve the problem and get your microphone up and running again so let's start here are the solution first we have to check a physical connection of wires so ensure our cables connecting to the headset are securely plugged in and Check for any visible damage or the cables on connectors. So test the headset on another device to rule out any hardware issue if it in their headset. So clean any dust or debris from the headset port or connector. So restart your computer after checking and adjusting the physical connection. So now we are going to solution to enable audio device. So simply we have to go to the right click on the speaker icon in the system tray and select you have to click on this task bar now they are the option called voice so they are the option for setting now we are going to the setting and then you have to go to the sound so you have to choose a correct speaker to input or output for both of them. Now we are going to search it out to set Hypex Cloud Stinger Make as default device. So simply you have to press a window plus R, then type their control panel and now enter the button. So in the control panel, select large screen. From the view drop down menu and click a sound and navigate to the recording so in recording tab you have to right click on the empty space to inside the device list to select the visible device so then you have to see there select the disabled device and now right click on the headset microphone so and choose enable them like this so there you can find your headset and now after this you can click on this choose that the enable them so after this right click on the headset microphone again and select a set as default device so there are the option for set as default device after this you find your Headset after enable them you have to click on this address default device. That's how you can done your solution turn in your system And now we're going to search for to check for any windows update So simply you have to go to this setting or simply home bar then you have to go into setting And now we have to go into home section So there are the option called window update option in the right side of the bot in the Upside so you have to click on this and now wait for it to open them so they are the option called restart now if you not because i am already update my window if not in your system they are the option called a updated window so you have to click on this and wait for a minute after that your window is downloaded so you have to restart now to properly update your window so like we are going to solution 5 to if not is our solution not didn't work here to solve this problem so we have to update your yeah, order so we have to update audio drivers too. Simply you have to click on the window plus R and they are called uh, run the dialog box. So type their control and open a control panel. So their control panel and click OK. Then you have to click on the large icon. Okay, OK. Then after this you have to click on the sound and going to playback track. So, in playback track, you have to right click on the headphones and select properties. So, we are going to this properties and now click on the properties button in the control performance section. So, then click on the now we are going to do in settings. So, click the driver tab and select update driver.
now you have to click on this update driver that's how you and now you have to go into this search automatically for drivers then that's how you can update your order driver in your system so these are some simple steps you have to take and to complete your solution pack in your system now we are going to solution fix to reinstall or uninstall your windows and headset so simply back up all your important data from your computer now we are going to setting system and recovery so choose the option called restart this pc then follow the honest instruction to reinstall your windows so for the headset disconnect it from your computer then uninstall any headset related software or driver in your system after this you have to reboot your computer after uninstalling the headset software so reconnect the headset and install the necessary or software or driver that they have to need to connect your headset with your system so these are the some simple solutions you have to take in when you tackle the problem of your hazard x testing a microphone is not working properly so thank you for watching our video i hope this video is very helpful for this problem of your facing and we will catch you in our next video with further information